Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Marshall with Red Carpet Report, and we are at Paramount Pictures for the Veterans Day Got Your Six event. So, Nate, uh, nice to see you at the Got Your Six event. Can you talk to our viewers a little bit about what Got Your Six means to you? I mean, Got Your Six is just having, knowing somebody's got my back, got our back, you know, as veterans. Uh, it's really cool that there's organizations like this that exist that, uh, you know, are trying to support us and do what they can to let us know whatever endeavors we, you know, want to jump into and goals we have and dreams we have that there's people, both ex-military and not, uh, that are going to support us and be behind us no matter what that is. Now, can you talk to our viewers a little bit about your transition? Um, you're a former Seahawk. Could you talk about your transition from the military to the Seahawks to now? Yeah, I mean, well, first and foremost, I'm a former Longhorn, Texas Longhorn. That's, <laughs> That's uh, very important. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it is very important. Um, but yeah, I came out, I just got out of the military in February, actually, finally done uh, after playing in, in football in school and, and continuing to, to serve. Uh, now that I'm out, uh, I, I had the opportunity to, to play with the Seahawks for a little bit, and, and going up there was unbelievable. I mean, Seattle's a great city, and uh, just a cool opportunity, and it was really, it meant a lot to me because I know what it meant to the veteran community. You know, that was huge for, for, for us, I think, to, uh, to have the NFL support something like, something like that and give me an opportunity. And uh, although it didn't it ultimately work out, it led me to my next adventure, and so I, I can't be upset with it. I had, I had an amazing time. Do you ever feel pressure, or is it a good thing that um, you are seen as a role model within the veteran community? Because so many people get out, and, and sometimes we don't necessarily know what we want to do, but you have a very distinct path, and you've been very successful. Do you see that as a positive or negative, being that role model? First of all, I don't know if I've been very successful, but I've definitely just continued to, to chase and pursue all those things that I want to do. Um, yeah, I mean, role model, I don't know if that's the right word, but... <laughs> Humble. I'm just. <laughs> You're being very humble. I'm just. I mean, just honestly, I'm just doing what I love, and the fact that it is inspiring some vets to go back and and follow those things that that they're interested in. Great. I mean, that's we both win, and that's what that's what it's all about to me. Um, I think more and more I'm becoming comfortable with the fact that um, these things that I'm doing is making a difference in people's lives, and also that. It's uh, it's holding myself accountable. Like I can't stop now. You know, for the rest of my life now, I have to be committed to this this dream and this vision because I think people are are counting on me to see what's next. You know, and and in that in turn, whatever they have in their lives, if if they're reaching some sort of a an obstacle or a struggle, you know, they're going to be able to push through that and look at maybe some of the stuff that I've done and just said, you know what, uh, I'm just going to go for it. Win, lose, or draw, I, I got to give everything I have. Now, speaking of obstacles, you are taking a veteran, a, a, a single-leg amputee veteran, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Uh, Blake Watson and I, Blake was a Marine, and uh, his first deployment to Afghanistan, he, he took a knee right next to an IED and lost his leg. And, you know, he suffered with a, a, a lot of stuff. I mean, I can't even imagine going through something like that, the recovery process and all that comes with that. Uh, but, you know, just, I think, last year or so, he... he started to change his mindset, you know, and started to set these really high goals for himself and to try to come out of that. And, and, and I was approached with an idea uh, through waterboys.org, um, which is a, a, an organization that raises money for clean water wells, started by an NFL player, Chris Long. Uh, and he asked me if I had an idea of something to do that it could involve vets. And I said, yeah, I got a great idea. So me and Blake, are, or Blake and I, are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro uh, to raise money for these clean water wells, and uh, we're trying to raise a million dollars. That would be enough for 22 clean water wells, which is, you know, represents that 22 a day we're losing uh, to suicide veterans. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited about this opportunity and, and this project, and it means a lot to me. And, and, and how can our viewers help out? Where can they go to, to learn more about it? They can go to waterboys.org slash Killy, K-I-L-I. And um, yeah, even if it's just a dollar, you know, a, the cost of a bottle of water, a clean water. You know, if we get a million people to do that, we reach our goal. And so I, I don't think it's that hard. It seems crazy at first. Uh, when I tell people a million dollars, they're like, oh, how are you going to do that? I'm just like, just get people on board, you know, just get a lot of people on board. And uh, uh, veterans, we need a challenge. We need something to fight for. We need uh, a, a way to continue to serve like this. And so that's why it's important to us. And I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's totally doable. I think it will happen. I know it will happen. Thank you so much for your service and your service to the veteran community. Thank you for your service, too. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more interviews, and comment below with your favorite branch of the military. Clearly, it's the Navy. Bye, guys. For more information on Got Your Six, go to gotyour6.org. For more information on how to hire veterans currently working in the entertainment industry, visit Veterans and Film and Television at vftla.org.